count them, 1,298 clues have come and gone, but 26 new ones are headed your way as part of this 49th episode of Disney 100 Jeopardy. Welcome in. As always, I am your host, Brian Perry, and thank you so much for joining moi. We are just one week away from the big 50th episode extravaganza. That's ridiculous. I'm very excited. In fact, I have some surprises for you in episode 50. I'll get to that in a little bit. But first, let's check out the rules on your screen. They're the same rules as always. If you want to be a cheater and live with yourself, go right ahead. Be a cheater. I won't tell anyone. Be my guest. In last week's episode 48, the Final Jeopardy category was First Lines, where I read you the first line of a Disney movie, and you had to simply identify what film I was talking about. And we'll see how simple that actually is, because that category carries over to this episode 49, along with four brand new categories you are about to be quizzed on. So, let's check them out and see what they are. Once again, first lines will kick things off. The second category you will be quizzed on, one of my favorite Pixar movies ever, Finding Nemo. The third category you'll be quizzed on, we're going back to school, gonna do a little reading. Villains Book Series. Yep, you know those books by Serena Valentino, the ones that you might see in a Disney park, or even Barnes & Noble, or R.I.P. Borders where it shows a Disney villain's face on the cover and dives into their backstory. I will show you the cover of one of those books. I will blur out the villain's face and judging on the title and title alone, you will have to tell me what villain that book is about. The fourth category, it's your Disney Parks category of the week, resort logos. And the fifth and final category you'll be quizzed on, shout out to I'm a Crazy Critter who suggested this one, Disney Math. If you don't like math, come after them in the comments section. Don't come after me. Okay, it is time for the easiest round of the game, the cupcake round. Each of these clues worth just 200 points each. Hopefully you go five for five and bake a thousand points under your belt. 200 point round, cupcake round starts with first lines. This is the story of how I died. Those famous words were uttered by one Eugene Fitzherbert, a.k.a. Flynn Rider, in Tangled. This is the story of how I died. But don't worry, this is actually a very fun story, and the truth is, it isn't even mine. We move on to the second clue of the game. It's the 200-pointer from Finding Nemo. Oh my goodness, yep, it is the <laughs> Daily Double, and it's the second clue of the game. That's just how this works when I space out the Daily Doubles 100 clues apart, because this is the 1,300th clue in Disney 100 Jeopardy history. So, wager whatever you want, up to 200 points. Or is it up to 1,000 points? I think it's 1,000 in Jeopardy. Wager up to 1,000 points, if you so choose, because here comes Finding Nemo, and it's only a clue that's worth 200. You can catch my joke. It's pretty easy. Here we go. Let's read it. The city, Nemo, and the other fish at the dentist office find themselves in. Good luck. You've got five seconds, four seconds, three seconds. Seriously? Okay, time's up. Time's up. The correct answer brings us to P. Sherman's dentist office on Wallaby Way, which is in Sydney. Look! Sydney. Sydney! Ah, uh, Sydney! Yeah, Sydney again! Alright, let's move on to the first clue from the Villains Book Series. Here comes a cover. This book is titled Mother Knows Best, which means it has to do with this Disney villain. The correct answer is Gothel. Or Mother Gothel. I still don't remember which one it actually is. Mother... No! No. Oh. Okay, here comes your first clue from Resort Logos. Ooh, I love this place. I love it so much. What resort is it? Well, you see the monorail right there? That can mean only one thing. The correct answer is contemporary. I love contemporary. 
I don't care how old I get, every time the monorail goes through and I see the monorail and I'm down by Chef Mickey's, I'm like waving my napkin, I'm like, what's up, what's up? Let's just move on, let's move on. Okay, here comes the final clue of the cupcake round. It brings us to Disney math. The number of wishes Genie gives Aladdin plus the number of theme parks at Walt Disney World, not including water parks. I don't want someone to think that water parks were included and get the easiest math question of the game wrong. So no water parks, the number of theme parks at Walt Disney World, plus, plus what? Oh yeah, the number of wishes Genie gives Aladdin. Okay, let's gather around the mat, everyone. Uh, let's learn how to do some addition. The correct answer is three plus four equals, say it with me, seven. Yep, seven. Look at that. You guys are so good at math. Good job, good job. All right! Yo, yo, woo, woo. That does it for the cupcake round. Hopefully you went five for five, banked those thousand points under your belt, or even more if you nailed that daily double. But it is time to boost the difficulty a little bit with the 400-point round. We go across the board and start once again with first lines. Through the snow and sleet and hail, through the blizzard, through the gale. That was a pretty good impersonation, if you know, if you know what the movie is. You know what the movie is? You gotta go back about 80-something years to get it right. The correct answer is Dumbo. Through the snow and sleet and hail, through the blizzard, through the gale. Let's move on to Finding Nemo's second clue. The character who leads his friend group in a pledge that states, fish are friends, not food. The correct answer is Bruce the Shack. Fish are friends, not food. Except stinking dolphins. Dolphins, yeah, they think they're so cute. Oh, look at me, I'm a flipping little dolphin. Let me flip for you, I know something. <laughs> On to another book from Serena Valentino. This book is titled Never Never. Who does it have to do with? The correct answer is Peter Pan's arch rival, the one and only one-handed Captain Hook. Good for Mr. Smee. Ah! Let's go resort hopping. This one's worth 400 points. Ooh, I love this place, and I love that logo. What does it represent? The correct answer is Disney's Wilderness Lodge. I love Wilderness Lodge. It's probably my favorite Walt Disney World Resort. If you put Fort Wilderness, you are wrong, because that is a completely different place. Sorry. We move on now. Here comes the final clue of the 400-point round. Time to do some math, kids. Lightning McQueen's number minus the films in the Toy Story franchise, not including Lightyear. The correct answer, let's learn how to do some subtraction, is 95 minus 4, which equals 91. Yep, good job. Look at all you. It's down. Good job. 10 clues down, which means we are just 16 clues away from the 50th episode of Disney 100 Jeopardy. Let's keep this train chugging. We start with first lines for six. Many strange legends are told of these jungles of India. The correct answer is the Jungle Book. Many strange legends are told of these jungles of India. Here comes Finding Nemo for six. Darla's relationship to P. Sherman. Darla is Sherman's niece. Darla, your uncle will see you now. <laughs> Here comes your third book cover from Villain's book series. This one's titled, Evil Thing. The 
This one wasn't so obvious. The correct answer is Cruella de Vil. Let's continue resort hopping. We go to this resort for 600. You got to go to the West Coast for this one. The correct answer is Paradise Pier. Yay, more math incoming. Let's have some fun. The number of princes competing in archery to try and win Merida, plus the number of dwarfs, incorrect spelling, but correct by Disney standards, in Snow White. All right, let's do it together, people. We go back to Brave in 2012 to see that there were three princes shooting for Merida's hand, and Merida says, I'll shoot for my own hand. That was horrible. That was a terrible impersonation. Anyway, uh, three plus seven. I hope you got seven dwarfs correct, because that was probably the biggest gimme of the category. So three plus seven is... Ten. Yes. Good job. All right. I feel like this is Dora the Explorer. Three plus seven is... Ten. Yep. We are more than halfway through the game. Let's continue with the 800-point round. First line starts us off. Where are you? Come out, come out, come on out. I'm coming to get you. We just talked about it. The correct answer is brave. Where are you? Come out. Come out. <laughs> come on out. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Finding Nemo for 800. A pelican informs Nemo that his father is looking for him. That pelican goes by this name. Who is Nigel? Hey, Nigel. What did I miss in my life? Here comes another book cover from the Villains book series. This one's titled Cold Hearted. Correct answer is Lady Tremaine. On to our fourth resort of the day. It's worth 800 points. Sandwiched right between Epcot and Hollywood Studios, the correct answer is Disney's Boardwalk. Shout out to the Boardwalk. Shout out to my old uh, employer, the ESPN Restaurant. Yep. Oh. Knocked her down for this new cake place, which I don't even—I still don't think is open. It's been like four years we're constructing. You know what? That's Disney for you. Let's move on now. Here comes the fourth clue from Disney Math. The code number shouted in Monsters, Inc. after a child's sock comes through a door minus the year Frozen 2 came out. Well, let's do it together once again. What is the code number shouted? 2319. 2319! <gasps> what year did Frozen 2 come out? 2019. What does that mean? The correct answer is 300. 20 clues are down. Six remain, including Final Jeopardy. But before we get there, you know what time it is. It is time for the most overly dramatic soundtrack infused unnecessarily spotlighted part of the game. The 1,000. Point round. Hit it. Okay, here we go. The 1,000 point round, and right after this, I'm going to tell you all about episode 50. So stick around. We start with first lines for 1K. How do you do? My name is Deems Taylor. The correct answer is Fantasia. How do you do? Uh, my name is Deems Taylor. Here's Finding Nemo for a thousand. Squirt's grandfather's name. Well, his father, Crush, was accidentally called Mr. Turtle, and he corrected Marlin and told him, nope, that's my dad's name, so he knew that. and that's how it works. Mr. Turtle is Squirt's grandfather. So, Mr. Turtle... Whoa, dude. Mr. Turtle is my father. Name's Crush. On to our final book cover from the Villains book series. Fire and Fate.
Correct answer is Hades. One more resort to have to. Can you get it right? We are once again going to the West Coast for this correct answer, that being Disney's Grand California. Here's our final clue on the board. It belongs to Disney Man. The number of puppies Perdita gives birth to, plus the number of sisters Ariel has. Well, we go back to 101 Dalmatians to find out that somehow Perdita gave birth to 15 puppies. 15! Take that number and we add to it the number of sisters Ariel has. She had six sisters, so 15 plus 6 equals 21. Okay, 25 clues down, one remains, but before we get there, let me tell you about episode 50. First things first, we're doing a giveaway. That's right, you'll have to check out the episode to see what you can possibly win. On top of that, I'm deciding to do 50 clues for episode 50. I felt like I had to do it. Uh, I've done 50 clues before, I think it was episode 20 maybe, maybe even episode 30, but it returns for this episode 50. But again, I wanted to make it even more special than just the 20th or 30th episode, so this is what I decided on. You're not going to have your normal categories, no. Instead, we're doing 50 clues from 50 different categories. What does that mean? 40 clues about 40 different Disney movies, and then 10 clues about 10 different Disney parks slash resorts. So hopefully your favorite movie will be featured with one specific clue. Here's a preview of some of the movies you might see in episode 50. All right, so I hope you're excited. I'm super excited about this. Once again, you'll have one clue from 40 different movies. So there'll be a clue about Frozen, there'll be a clue about Fox and the Hound, there'll be a clue about, you know, I don't want to give away much more, but you get the idea. The board will look a little different, but I wanted to spice things up for the 50th episode. And all you theme park fans out there like, mwah, yeah, I got you covered as well. Now, normally Final Jeopardy does carry over to the next episode. That is not the case with this special edition episode 50. So this Final Jeopardy category will carry over to episode 51 in two Weeks. Okay, let's see what the category is that you'll be quizzed on in this episode 49's Final Jeopardy. Missing colors. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. I'm going to show you an image, but I took away the saturation, meaning that it is now in black and white. You will have to identify what two main colors are missing from the image. Once again, this category will return in episode 51, but for now, make those wagers. Okay, time is up. It is time for the final clue of the game in this episode 49. Ah, it's RC Carr from Toy Story. What two colors is he mainly made up of? Good luck. Okay, time is up. First things first, RC Carr does have a tiny bit of red trim on him, but that is not one of the two main colors that makes up his frame and body. The correct answer is, what are blue and green? There you are. Hey, what's he doing? And that will do it for the 49th episode of Disney 100 Jeopardy. I could not thank you enough for joining me on this journey that's allowed me to make now 49 episodes and in a week, 50 different episodes, over 1,300 clues, over 200, whatever it is, 250, 300 categories. Uh, I've had a ton of fun, but you already know that and I appreciate each and every one of you. Hopefully you'll join me next week for episode 50. But for now, you know the drill. If you like the video, please subscribe. Click that bell icon. Hello, bell. This way, you're notified every time I come out with brand new content. I will see you next weekend for the big episode 50 extravaganza of Disney 100 Jeopardy. I've been your host, Brian Perry. See you then.